Hello everyone and today we are doing a quick video on how to make a chicken for yourself back at home. You can impress your friends, maybe if you are into your gaming and you want to make something to get you through the day or weekend, make yourself a chicken dude. You can break it down to eight pieces, slow cook it over time and you won't starve to death, which is super cool. Uh, this I'm going to be doing in hopefully a minute so you can see that you could probably do this between matches in game. Are we coming through alright? Yeah, fuck it, we're doing well. So if you're a chef online and you're viewing me, um, I welcome your critiques. I'm an apprentice chef at the moment. I work inside a kitchen, so I believe we understand each other. And if you wish to give me critiques, mate, I've I've heard everything, so give it to me. Whatever it is, I don't care. I'm gonna hopefully get this through in a minute. I have just removed the wishbone. That's about it. And I aim to improve over time, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start with the legs right here, cutting through the chicken. Fuck it, I'll go through both sides. And yes, guys, I am left-handed which really is an advantage to all you right-handed people that think you're so cool because right left-handed people <coughs> get all the girls if I'm honest as well as being a chef you know we get a we get a lot of attention I'm just saying it's okay to be jealous you can love me you can hate me but then at the end of the day we're all gonna have a little bit of chicken for ourselves I've got one leg off I don't know how long this has taken me so far but I've just cut through the the meat in the middle, this is probably like just the skin, the inside of your thigh would be. So I can run myself, my, run my life knife along like somewhat of the rear end of the chicken. And you want to find the oyster here, if uh, which is where you want to get the knife under without cutting yourself. And I've did this before where I actually fucked a whole chicken. <laughs> ah, I'm ruining this. Oh boy, I did it. I think it's from, I actually think it's where I am left handed and uh. I can do one side really well, but the other side, I absolutely butcher it. I did it actually a little bit better than before. We're going to cut the wings off, and I just want to dislocate them first. Get the bone out, that's a bit of the wishbone. If you dislocate them first, you can work the knife through the tendon and the socket. So all you're doing there, after you've dislocated it there, is running the knife through the gap, because you've pulled the bones apart. And it's beautiful, it feels wonderful just running your knife through there. And there you go. That's off, that's the tips. And what I also want to do is just get the ends off this leg. Now this is where my inexperience is going to shine through because you're going to see me scoring the leg around here. And I want to take the top off it, but I cannot, I can't quite get it off in any quick amount of time. You know, I've seen people do it before where they just whip this thing. And I'm not quite sure what it is they're doing, but it's called Frenching. And you just want to whip the top off this leg and it makes it look fucking good if you can get it right but you can see I'm clearly struggling with it because I'm still an apprentice this is the tendon of the leg this stuff is really like inedible if you can see it at all that stuff there there is the tendon that's what's going to operate all its limbs like its little finer motor skills like the fingers and the claws and everything that love to scratch you so I will be getting this off soon I think it's called Frenching this but fuck it we'll just take the tip off there I've rolled up the skin and pulled down a little bit here and it leaves a little more a little bit more presentable for you uh, get rid of the tendon I'm absolutely butchering it at this point I've also gonna score this side of the knife I'm probably just running over a minute right now I wonder what the record is to uh, just getting a chicken leg uh, broken down and we very much have the chicken on its way to being broken down at the moment as we have broken it down into three bits so far we have eight to eight to come and you see how I'm just running the knife around there I'm actually scoring the tip and then pulling up and down I'm pretty sure this is bad and this is something I need some advice on if I'm gonna be a good chef guys uh, so all your advice is welcome and I'm I, I feel like uh, it's it's somewhat there but um, I'm missing something uh, I'm gonna take the wings off again a similar technique as to what I did before dislocating it and then running the knife through the gap okay Dislocating it and running the knife through the gap. Uh, you might be wondering if you are a viewer of my live stream, what I'm up to online these days. Well, I'm actually looking to grow the team a little bit. I'm looking for more of an option for people that view my stream to get involved and help out and show me what your special task, uh, special talent is. Uh, I'm almost there actually with this chicken. I'm going to cut through the. This is crowned, I believe. Do you call this crowned? Where it's like this, sort of. I, I could, I'm probably wrong. I'm going to run the knife down the middle, keeping it as close as I can to the side here, making it sexy. And I'm going to do a supreme cut, like a chicken supreme cut. So I'm making sure I get 
all the flesh and like leaving none of it on the bone here. So, so some things uh, for the team I'd like to, are like community managers, people that can want to defend Trillo, as well as moderators for the channel. I think moderators were going to come first, but I, I'd even like an option for people that are like, I don't know what I can do. Well, you can always like the stream if you really want to, but there are people that come by the stream, and I have proposed this question in the past, like, uh, if you would like to join me as a, as a team member, what, what can you do? And people literally say, I would like to help, but I don't know what I can do. And I'm like, well, you can always look. Uh, or if not me, if someone else. You can always look someone else's channel. So this is the Supreme Cut. I've got one off there and I've done pretty well for myself so far. Just going to run the knife down the, the middle here, keeping it close to the bone. And I'm doing well. I know it's not taking uh, record speeds at this moment, but this is only probably... Dude, this is probably like my third chicken so far. And the first one I had absolutely looked like it had been chewed. So I'm going to run that knife. I'm also going to dislocate the joint a little bit there. You could hear that. And I can see the fillet here in the middle. That's the real tender bit of the chicken breast there. This breast is quite nice. This is from a small bird. It cost me, dude, you won't believe how much this cost me. About £2.80 from Sainsbury's. It is ridiculous how much this chicken cost me. Like, it, it is nothing. It cost me absolutely nothing. So there's the breast. Oh, not as good. Again, I think with being left-handed, it's like sacrificing me but you can see that's a bit of a that's called a supreme cut where you leave the leg on and it makes it a little more presentable where you keep the leg up like that you can trim the bone the cartilage is actually cut beneath it so it makes it more of a flat surface to just lay and so the leg sticks up and that should also be frenched as well you can say that's french there's a bit of cartilage on there which i will trim off again i'm not professional you can see where i'm at guys i'm a developing chef here this is what i want to make clear in the video that i want to welcome your opinions i want to welcome your advice if you're an online chef or or you just love your food and you're good at what you do get involved with uh with with me to be honest with my stream and the things i get up to so that's one two three four six i need to trim these and i know this is where i uh, really suffer so i'm going to dislocate them in this is our trick, remember, this is what we've learned this video. You can dislocate the joint and then you want to find that point. Dislocate the joint, find the point where it's actually separated and you can feel like a bit of a surgeon whilst you do that because you can then find, okay, it's right there. And then you run your knife through the gap. Dude, I almost, I just, I did pretty well there. There. I'm going to trim it up to make it look presentable, like a little bit of loose skin isn't, appetizing and that's it that's my drum that's a drip that's a drum right there okay and I've done I feel pretty proud about myself there the thigh is is kind of a bit looks a bit like shark bait but I have another one to do hopefully a little bit better with and again I'm finding that joint I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty as well this is gonna be a nice bit of chicken guys and I'll probably be making a video in the future of what I do with this so if you want to figure out what it is I am gonna do with this chicken just stay with me we can we can discover together there you go there's my bone my drumstick there and there you have it that's my bit there's the chicken thigh normally you can deep you uh could debone this you could debone all of this which is what i do at work i debone the chicken and i turn it into a i mix it with creme fraiche lime coriander and it comes out as like a chicken mix i put in ciabattas and everything for, for service but with anyway, what I wanted to say is, yeah, you could break uh, the bone, you take that out, or debone this and then you make it into a wrap. You can like tie it up, cook it, pan sear it, and it makes a really tasty appetizer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next show.